So at the first, uh, we did sensing for the whole building and also for sections of the building. Uh, and we did the towers also. Once we get the, got the results of this phase one, uh, it uh, showed quite a, a very interesting results of uh, confirming something which the consultant team already saw in the dynamic response of the building from the ETAP software, but it was question why? So that what generated the second phase of our investigation, which clarified a number of questions. So basically what SenseQuake did for us was to help calibrate the model get us the confidence that the odd response obtained from ETAPS as a dynamic response of the building made sense and eventually even helped us to point out a few locations where we want to do intrusion, uh, intrusive investigation, open up the wall, see what's happening and why it's happening. So all these turned out to be very, very helpful. In a conventional way, uh, you what you do, you end up with a model and uh, you don't know if your model is really perfect or it's a human error. At that point, when the questions uh, come up, you're going to end up eventually uh, randomly doing some uh, destructive uh, investigation, which obviously is harming a historical building, especially a building of this class. This way we managed to focus and point out, okay, here we have to open the masonry wall. Here we have to open the floor. Here we have to open the ceiling to see how that is connected and so on. And I really believe that uh, getting SenseQuake there added a lot of value to the project to get it a more understanding of the existing building so we can address all the issues, doing a safer design. And uh, it will just help the project to be the best.